Today we're looking for hedgehog mushrooms which are extremely scrumptious and on top of that they're very easy to identify which of course is one of the important things when you go looking for mushrooms to eat. Well what do you know we found a hedgehog the big old hedgehog but it's a hedgehog nonetheless oh it looks like someone's been eating it already and I can tell you I understand why so there's your hedgehog and you can see these little spines and that's where it gets its name and that's mighty fine eating now there aren't many mushrooms or for that much any really that have those spines underneath them so when you see that the spines underneath the top you know you're dealing with a hedgehog this is quite an old hedgehog but that's unmistakable and this is big and it will be very tasty indeed so in the bag we go with this hedgehog and there should be more around here but you never know it could be the only one it could be just one of tons that would be good wouldn't it but I don't think so we found this one but we haven't found any more so let's go looking for more shall we and here we have hidden in this holly bush another hedgehog and I'm gonna fight my way through the prickles to get to it silly me Ouch, ouch. So this is another hedgehog. Again, it's an old one, I think. And when you turn it over, you see the spines that mark it out as a hedgehog. And obviously, the creatures around here also find them delicious and give them a good nibbling on. Nice, that would be great in the frying pan. We're gonna make some omelets out of these hedgehog mushrooms, which we've just picked. For that, we need eggs. And these are free range eggs. And I'm hoping that this one is actually gonna be a double yolker. This is gonna be the first egg for our omelet. So let's crack it open and see, shall we? Never been very good with eggs. There you go, a double yoker. It's a good job that this is going into an omelette. These are the hedgehog mushrooms, and as you can see, the little hedgehog spines on the inside. And you can buy these in the supermarket, but they're about 30 bucks a kilo, maybe more sometimes. And when you pick them in the wild, like we just have, they're full of water. And if you put them in a frying pan, the frying pan will fill up with water and then you kind of get a sludgy mushroomy soupy thing which is really quite nice but if you want to fry them with something like an omelette you don't want that to occur so the way to do it is to get a pan put some oil in it and then fry them up in the pan and when you do that the water will come out in a nice soup and it's a delicious soup and you can use that soup later and it means that you're gonna have some dry mushrooms which you can take out of the soup and then put into something like an omelette. I'm gonna put some garlic in here to get a bit of garlic flavor action going. And maybe have a little slurp of wine while we wait. Mm -mm -mm. So now we've got a hot pan. We're gonna take these hedgehog mushrooms, just break them up a little bit and throw them in. So there's just some oil and garlic in here. And you can hear the water in the tongue hissing away. Now 
I'm going to give that a quick stir. Not that you really have to. And just let that set. I'm going to give it a little bit of salt, I think. Salt's always good. Salt's always a good thing to drive out the water from something. And almost right away, we're getting the water coming out into a little soup, but it's going to be a lot more of that coming out as we just heat them up. So meanwhile, I'm going to get back to stirring my free range eggs into omelette. So you can see how much water is coming off these hedgehog mushrooms. And that is actually quite a nice soup, just all on its own. It's also a really nice stock. Look how much juice is coming off them. So now we're going to pour the liquid off into this bowl. So now we've got some dry mushrooms and some delicious soup, which we're going to put to one side. It's a great ingredient for later. So now, to make the free range egg double yolking hedgehog mushroom omelette. So I like to use these spoons because it enables you to get about the right measure for one omelette. Here we go. So, there's the omelette. Now we're going to take some of those mushrooms and drop it in the middle there. With a bit of luck, if we move fast, we'll be able to flip this over. Boop. And close it up. A lovely hedgehog omelette on the plate. It's time to try my omelette, obviously. So here goes. Hmm, not bad if I may say so myself. So this is a piece with a hedgehog in it, steaming from the frying pan. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh yeah, mmm. That is one tasty mushroom.